Kill Cat, back with another video, man. Just worked a little bit today, man. Uh, I'm not gonna work the rest of the night, man. I, I'm, I, I wanna go chill, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been working way too goddamn much. So I'm gonna head out to San Jose where I'm hot at, man. You know what I'm saying? Because where I live at, I come to realize that, motherfucker, I'm not really hot out there. So you gotta go to where you're hot at. That's the real. If you're not hot at, you know, if you're not hot at a certain club, don't go there. Go only, go only where you get the most numbers from. You know what I'm saying? Go to where you get the most numbers. You know, from chicks. But anyway, I know some of you incels are upset, man, and you're mad. You know, and you're frustrated. You know, and that's where the anger come from, man. The anger come from not getting pussy. I told you niggas that not getting pussy will make you angry as fuck. And bitter, too. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not getting your piece of the pie. Think about it, man. If if uh, if it was time to feed dogs, right? Imagine a, imagine there are, there's, a, there's a backyard... And it's full of dogs, right? And you're caged up. And all the other dogs, they are free to roam around and scratch and jump around and play around and shit while you're caged up. So then when 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 feeding when, when feeding comes around, when it when it's feeding time, uh, they start to eat. And you're looking from a distance. You know what I'm saying? You're like, man, I'm hungry, I can't get out this cage. That's going to cause a lot of frustration, a lot of animosity toward the other dogs. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to cause a lot of anger also. So that's why a lot of you incels are upset because you're not getting your piece of the pie. That's why. You know what I mean? You're not eating. And you sitting back watching all the Chads and Tyrones eating shit. You know what I'm saying? That'll make a motherfucker mad. If that motherfucker wasn't get wasn't getting the piece of a pie and shit. You know what I'm saying? That'll make a motherfucker mad. And you sit back and you watch all the other dogs eat. You know what I'm saying? So... That's where the gym comes in. You want to eat? Get your ass to the gym if you want to eat. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, I ain't got the best face in the world either, man. I ain't got the best, like, facial features. You know what I'm saying? But I do okay. I do okay. You know what I mean? I got an extra wide nose. I'm just like a lot of black people do. But I buy my nose extra my nose is extra wide, man. That's that African blood in me. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of black people out there that got narrow noses. Their nose is not so wide. You know what I'm saying? They got black people out there that got nose like Egyptians and shit. Like the pharaohs used to have back in the day. A, a narrow, a more narrow nose. You know what I'm saying? So, I love my nose, though. I used to have insecurities about it. But, there's some women out there that don't like the wide nose, though. You know what I'm saying? When I go down south, they love the wide nose. When I'm up north, where I live, they don't like that wide nose, man. Some black dudes got narrow noses. You know what I'm saying? They're, I mean, they're more accepted. You know what I'm saying? So, it all boils down to facial features. You know, if that woman like it, if she likes it, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? If she does it, she does it. But it's all about location, man. Location. I'm not hanging out where I live anymore. 
I'm, I'm gonna be hanging out near San Jose or and San Jose, Milpitas and stuff like that. I'm gonna hang out that down that way. That's where I'm hot at. That's where I get all the bitches. That's not where I got laid at uh, the other night, but you know what I'm saying. But I get more numbers and more action over there in Milpitas and then San Jose. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to compete very much. I'm about to go have only a few beers, nigga, only a few. Not a lot. I'm not going to get drunk like I did last time. I'm only going to have two beers. That's it, nigga. That's it. That's my fucking shit. And I might get on this motherfucker, you know, after the club, too, and upload another video or after, uh, after the fucking bar or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm really looking for a bitch to help me out with my goddamn channel, man. That's what I'm looking for. A bitch. You know? That gotta, that'll fucking support you. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking for now. You know? If she's not down with my motherfucking channel, I'm just gonna cut her off. Like at and nigga. You know what I'm saying? I've been working way too much. Kill Cat been been slaving behind this goddamn wheel, man. I, today, I was not nice to the riders. I just, like, I was, like, I was quiet. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, I, you know, I'm just tired. I, I can't do this. I need a, I need a night off. Or I'm, I'm gonna go nuts. I'm gonna go fucking crazy. But, uh, yeah, you incel niggas, man, better hurry up and work out, man, so you can get some of that fucking slice of the pie, man. You know? Told you guys what to do. And you guys are still standing there? Shit. That gym should be your motherfucking life. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta put that smack down, man. Put the Mac hand down. You know, put that motherfucking Mac hand down. Anyway, man, I'm on my way to the spot. Just want to upload that video real quick, man. You know, it hurts not to get a fucking slice of the pie. You sit back and you watch niggas eat. I know, nigga, I was in cell before, sitting back watching everybody else get the women that they want. I got out of that shit, man. I had to make a change. It, it was either, you know what I'm saying, get all the enhancements and start losing the weight, or, you know, stop eating junk food so much, or fucking, uh, Or stay in cell. You know what I'm saying? I took the purple pill for a reason. It made me a more productive citizen, man. It made me more productive. It made me a better person. I'm more I'm more in the gym. I'm more focused and concentrated. There's nothing like the purple pill. You got both you got both. You know what I'm saying? And the best of both worlds. See, thing is, you can relate. You can relate to blue pill men, and you can relate to red pill men. You know, you can relate. I know what it is, man. I know what it's like to be blue pill. I was before. I was a blue pill nigga before, all the way blue pill. And I was red pill at one point. Now I got both. Now I got both. And it has made me one powerful motherfucker. But uh, I'm 
I have to come move with some of my subscribers, man. I might go to Oregon and go hang out with, uh, what well, I forgot his name, the Woods guy. You know, I might have to come out with you, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting tired of ha hanging out here in California. You know what I mean? Gotta go where you're hot at, man. Too much saturation over here in California. Too much competition still for a select man. You know? Even for a select man, California is really tough. But anyway, you guys have a good day. I might get on here, man, after I come from the bar and talk some shit. Have a good night.